How's everyone doing today? This is Bastion City here with another video. And <clears throat> this weekend has been a little, how can I say, long it feels like. It's Sunday right now. I'm actually recording a little late compared to how I usually record. Um, not much happened this weekend. To be honest, I've, I've been stuck with some APZ exams and all that. So today's video, I just wanna show on what I do when I am busy, but I kinda wanna still do stuff around the house. For example, the gyms during the weekend. Uh, I just went outside real quick because I had to uh, check something for the uh, my clothes on Monday and stuff. No big deal. But uh, like I was saying, so what I do during the time, for example, on a Saturday or Sunday that, for instance, the gyms open a little later compared to the five in the morning that they usually open. When I, what I do on the weekends or basically when I do homework or when I want to procrastinate, I installed, everyone has it. Um, it's like a pull-up bar and I'm gonna show you this right now in the clip and really just show the little setup I have in my room to work out if you don't really have a gym or you can't make it to the gym. So hope you enjoy. So yeah guys, this is the pull-up bar that I was talking about. You can do either close grip, you can do these, I'm not sure what these are called, like on the side, those type of pull-ups. And then also, it, like I was saying, it hooks up very easily here on the frame of your door. And then the cool thing about it is, for instance, you can take it off really easily. You can put it down here just in case you have like hardwood floors and stuff. And then you can do uh, push-ups that are more like tricep, uh, tricep focused. And then, you know, you can take it off or you can do wide grip push-ups as well. I don't know if that's a thing, if I'm using it incorrectly, but that's what I do. And then honestly, guys, it really does help. Um, I was, I mean, I'm still not the best at push-ups, but uh, I can bump out about like 20 or 25 now compared to back, I don't know, like I was struggling to do like 10. So this is a setup, uh, oh, there are my sandals. And uh, I really love my sandals, just saying. But, okay, so like I was saying, and then I usually keep this right there. And now, uh, there's my closet. And then I have the mirror here, hello. And then what I try to do, right, I guess oh, I gotta close this right here. Um, I just I don't know if this will work. No. Okay, so I'll put that down here, for instance, like my phone or something, and then I'll just do push-ups there, like here, and just do push-ups. Um, like I was saying, I have this ab wheel thing. Is the ab wheel? Uh, this honestly, I got it yesterday, um, just because. It looks cool, but it honestly kind of hurts my back. I don't know if I'm doing it right or wrong. I just gotta keep practicing and get better at this. So that's the mirror. Um, like I was saying, here are the gloves. So then if you wanna do like push-ups, uh, if I don't wanna like put them on the mat, I can just put these on and just do them on the floor. If I don't wanna use, like I was saying, the, the uh, pull-up bar. So uh, like I was saying guys, that is the setup. And then, like I was saying, this, I can put it up on the door frame. I'll show you right now. All right, there. Let's see how good it is. Just one-handed. Oh, um, oh, shit. So there's that. One hand, uh, just put that on. And then this one looks kind of a little curved, but um, that's just, just know if it's on or not. And that just kind of sums up the, the setup. So yeah, guys, like I was saying, this is the setup, you know, these are all the things just, you know, in one clip or one shot, the pull-up bar, the gloves, the wheel and the mat, all these things I've just found in my garage. But if you're kind of low on money and you don't want to, you know, actually go to Dick's and buy these at, you know, big box retailer stores, Honestly, just go to a garage sale on a Saturday and I can guarantee that people, for instance, that just, you know, 
bought them and then they just don't use them anymore so you can just go to a garage sale and they will probably sell you the mat for a dollar or two compared to you going to dicks and spending probably 30 40 dollars on one of those yoga mats because they're new so if you guys really want to try something uh challenge yourselves just you know get a couple little things and just be consistent you know do one day five push-ups the next day try to do six or seven and then slowly but surely you will uh, get better at them so yep this is the setup thank you so yeah guys like i was saying that's just a couple things you can do uh you know just to really implement that into your day um, right now i'm in the kitchen i'm thinking of what to eat uh, i either will probably eat something like a I think there's some fish and some brown rice in the fridge, so I'll heat that up. But, uh, like I was saying guys, really, it's not that difficult. Uh, you know, everyone wants to be really flashy and all that stuff I see, especially on Instagram I see, which isn't bad, especially like if you guys don't have a workout buddy or just don't have the time to really go with someone to the gym, following those fitness pages isn't a bad idea just because they, you know, they're maybe not be professional, you know, professional trainers or stuff like if you're gonna get one-on-one -on -one training at a gym but they do have really good workouts and stuff that you could implement at your house if you want to try something new or you want to hit like a certain muscle or muscle group or you know just a certain you know you know stamina exercise something you're trying to trying to accomplish so like I was saying really guys it's not that uh, you know advanced or anything you need to you know you don't need to buy all that stuff you can just start out with just a yoga mat and just get really good at push-ups and then once you feel comfortable with push-ups you can just you know implement pull-ups and just whatever you're comfortable with but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it's that it's not that exciting like the other one the last one i made the last one i made uh i recorded everything at ut with uh, my father around it was like i think the visit was at 10 and then I was literally, I got back home around 1 after we had some lunch in South Tampa. And then I got back home around 1 and I was editing the video for about 4 or 5 hours. Uh, and obviously, you know, it's not that crispy or advanced like other videos you see on YouTube. But I was just trying new things, you know, so I can just have them saved on the iMovie. So then in the summer, it's not that hard. I can just basically copy and paste and really make it more efficient. But yeah, guys. Uh, so, like, I, oh, another thing is, if you guys want... I'll possibly make like a Q&A with a friend of mine. She gave me the idea. Leave some comments down below in the in the in the comment section, and also follow the Macas FBA, and then you can just comment down on those pictures that I'll be posting during the week. What thing you'd like to ask, either about Amazon, either about like how what I do on the morning walks, what I do um, when I work what I do at school, how do I balance school and work, just stuff like that. And uh, of course, I'm not gonna, you know, give you like advice or anything coaching. It's just, you know, just sharing my experiences as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not as exciting like I was saying as the other one, but uh, you know, I just wanted to show really the, uh, the truth behind the life of a teenager doing multiple things at once, especially business related. It's not always going to be glamorous. It's not always going to be, you know, touring different schools. It's sometimes you just got to buckle down, you know, and either grind on whatever you're, you know, you're kind of struggling on either growing in different strengths or trying to fix some of your weaknesses. So before I get too motivationally uh, driven, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned for the next Macas Monday. Thank you.